All right, welcome back. This is by request. I was asked to take a look at something new, well, something new for me. This is uh, MX16. This is a Linux distribution based uh, somewhat off the Meepus or simply Meepus family of Linux distribution. So let's kind of take a look at this. This is a default desktop here. Actually, let me go ahead and full screen this. I'm running this inside Ubuntu 16.04. Then maybe when we're done, we'll see how this compares to one of my favorites, Ubuntu. So we have a welcome screen here, MX16 Metamorphosis. Hmm, interesting. Welcome to MX Linux, a fast, friendly, and stable OS loaded with amazing tools and supported by a great community. So a welcome screen like this is always, well, welcome, I guess, if you are new to the world of Linux. So we'll, we'll see if this is something that might be uh, possibly in addition uh, to something that might work for Windows users. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. This is the default desktop here. So it looks like we have a nice wallpaper. Hey, I like this a lot. We have, it looks like a panel bar here to the left. I'm assuming this could be moved. And we have the installer. Let's see what this looks like real quick. Uh, this is based on Debian Stable. Okay, that's good. And let's see, so it looks like uh, this might be uh, somewhat of an easy installer for beginners. So let's go ahead and close this. Well, let's take a look. So let's right click on the desktop. And it looks like this has the XFCE desktop environment based on what I see here. Let's go to uh, desktop settings. Okay, nice selection of colorful wallpapers anyway, menus, icons. So if you're running Zubuntu or something XFCE, you've probably seen this before. Now so far this is running uh, pretty zippy even inside a virtual machine. Alright, so let's see. On the panel you can right click, panel preferences. Uh, let's see, let's unclick panel and let's try horizontal on the top. Okay, that might be a little bit more friendly. Let's lock it again. Appearance, items, okay. All right, so real quick here, the clock. Okay, again, you can right click, of course, Firefox. This is probably the, yeah, the file manager. This is, I believe, Thunar. Yep, very good. Boy, this is running really fast. And what is that? Zero updates. Okay, Clipman, very good. Ethernet, calendar, okay. That's mute. Left click, right click will give you some options for the mixer. And let's go ahead and right click it again. Uh, I meant to go open mixer. Yeah. All right, playback, recording. Output devices, input devices, configuration, okay. Seems simple enough. All right, you can choose between two desktops running at the same time and the start button if you want to call that or the main button there. Well, it's nice that this has a search bar here at the bottom. So if I wanted to search for uh, something for music, okay, it looks like Clementine is installed by default. A very nice audio player. I also like Rhythmbox and Banshee. All right, so far this is looking pretty good. I love the default wallpaper. It kind of reminds me of one of my intros uh, I do with the um, with the seagull walking across the shore there. Anyway, let's see if anything sticks out here. Let's go to accessories. Let's see. Just a brief look. X, XF Burn, a very good burning application. I've used that before. Education, LibreOffice, Math, Games, and not too much. Chromium BS, BSU, <laughs> BS, huh? Okay, Graphics, uh, the GIMP, very good. Mirage Image Viewer, very good. It looks like I have 24 updates available if I was going to install this. That's nice. You're very user friendly. I'm not familiar with Mirage, but it appears to be lightweight. Okay, very good. And let's keep on going. Okay, so internet, all right, of course, Firefox, Thunderbird Mail, transmission, 
Multimedia, let's see, Asunder CD Ripper. I think I've used that before, of course. Clementine, Pulse Audio Volume Control, very good. That should be a standard feature, a standard piece of software. Of course, VLC and XF Burn. Office, the usual LibreOffice settings. Let's go to Appearance. And you, it looks like you've got a lot of choices here. Well, that's nice and bright. Dark. Darkest. <laughs> Gray dark. Night. Anyway, I think you get the point. Kiwi! Hmm, that's really bright. Hey, let's stick with Gray Bird. Why not? All right, let's keep on going here. What do we have? Well, that's really bright, huh? Okay, Grub Customizer. Yeah, this is probably not something for beginners, so I think I'll get out of that there. And G parted, very good. MX default look. Quick changes to default look. Does this do anything? All right, changes the theme a little wee bit. Finished Firefox may require a restart. Okay. Yeah, we'll skip that. Oh, that's a different color. System. Let's see. AMD driver installer. Very good. Disk manager. GDB package installer. Very good. I like that. G Smart. All right. Skip that. I don't want to go through all that. Uh, let's see. Greeter settings. Really? I got to do a password for all this? Oh, well. Well, it certainly does come preloaded with all the software that you need. And I'm not even sure what the default password. Oh, Synaptic Package Manager is installed. Very good. Unit Button. Unit Button. Very good. Um, what was I going to say here? Let's go back through this. Yeah, I'm not even sure what the default password is in demo mode. Is it demo? Yeah, I don't know. Let's try root. Did that work? I guess it's root in demo mode. Okay, that's the password. Okay, light DM greeter. Appearance. I think I'll leave this the way it is. Well, let's check out one more thing here. Let's go to the task manager. My CPU 14%. That's fairly light. I only gave this in a virtual machine about 1 gig of RAM, so 22% is about, what, 220 megabytes? Uh, not bad at all running in a virtual box so yeah whoever uh, told me to take a look at this so far so good I can't really complain I guess of course the only way to tell if this works is in a full install but usually from my experience if it works good in a virtual box it's probably gonna work very good in a full install so yeah if you are a Windows user or if you are somewhat familiar with Linux and have not heard of this so far Hey, looks pretty good, so uh, check it out. Shot well, a good image viewer. So, I like it. How does this compare to Ubuntu? Well, I like the fact that you can uh, click the Windows key and give you a nice search function here. The same thing with, um, of course, with Ubuntu. So, uh, I would say, yeah, definitely worth uh, taking a look at this. You can use the keyboard to search for a specific piece of software. So check out MX16. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Uh, this Windows user definitely certifies it at least to give it a try. So thank you again for the suggestion. That's all I have for this one. If there's something else you want me to take a look at, let me know in the comments below. That's it. If you haven't already, subscribe and support this Total OS Today technology channel. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Be safe.